very nice. So let's, okay. So one, two unit circle, we're looking at just some very specific points to help us with thinking about what this graph looks like. So the key here is remembering that the period for tangent and cotangent, you may want to make a note, the period for both tangent and cotangent is just pi, okay? But what's going to be special about the tangent graph is that we're going to do half of the half of the graph to the right of the origin, we're going to do the other half to the left. So it's still a full pi, God bless you, but we're doing half of it in one direction, half of it in the other direction. Okay, so I'm going to just draw some hash marks here to kind of show you, and we're going to label these. So here's where our pi over 4 is, here's our pi over 2. And then we're going to label this as negative pi over 4 and negative pi over 2. So from our unit circle, um, from our unit circle, we find that, I'm sorry, the one point I didn't ask you to fill in that is important also, one other one, what about zero degrees or zero radians? We do at zero degrees, if we do zero over one, we get zero. So that's an important point also. I, I'm just getting so excited about all of these others, I forgot to talk to you about that one. Okay, so what that's telling us is the tangent graph goes right through the origin. That's the other reason why we are looking at this from this perspective, okay? At pi over four, we're at one. And at pi over two, if it's undefined, what that's telling us is that there's an asymptote, okay? And we know with asymptotes that what's happening is that the graph is approaching and getting closer and closer and closer to that line, it's just never touching it. Okay, so we'll get to actually drawing in the curve here in just a second. At negative pi over four, we, are, we have the point of negative one. And then at negative pi over two, we've got this asymptote again. Okay, so the tendency is to look at that and think we're gonna, we've got kind of got this straight line and then it curves, but you do actually kind of want to show a little bit of a curve. So for me, I tend to draw from the origin up through that point and then up towards the asymptote in that direction. And then through this point and down towards that asymptote in that direction. I don't remember if I've got other notes here that I want to share with you. Nope, that's it. Okay. Okay. So that's the basic. So it's kind of, there's kind of these three critical points that you have to make sure that you are showing. Okay, you've got to show this point and this point, and this point, and then these asymptotes, and you're showing that the graph is just going closer and closer towards that, okay? All right, what do you think, what's, what's negative tangent gonna look like? So yeah, it's gonna, it's basically gonna get flipped, okay? So let's, yikes. So once again, we're gonna draw in our basic markers. Pi over four and then pi over two. So we start from zero, we're going out pi over four in each direction and then pi over two in each direction. So for this one, asymptotes are still gonna be in that same place. So you definitely do have to draw those in. And that does help kind of think about the shape of this, okay? We're still going to have that zero, zero, but at, at positive pi over four, instead of being at positive one, we're going to be at negative one and vice versa. So at pi over four, we're at negative one and at negative pi over four, we're at positive one. So it just kind of, the, the direction flips. All right, and then the only other type of change that I'm gonna show you all 
on tangent and cotangent graphs is an amplitude change. That's the only time we're going to do on that. Okay, so amplitude change, let's think about that. So now this is positive again, and we're kind of running out of room. Sorry about that. I didn't space this out as well as I could have. So like I said, you kind of, you almost just want to memorize this stuff. You can get the points from looking at your unit circle if you need to, and I think that's helpful. So we've got our asymptote here, we've got our asymptote here. So the points for this, think about what's happening. Our y values would just get multiplied by three. So zero, zero is gonna stay the same. But what's gonna change here is with that three in front, instead of going up, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna kind of do this so that you can see it gets stretched. I'm gonna extend this quite a bit here so that you can see. Um, at pi over four, instead of being at one, we're gonna go all the way up here to three, and at negative pi over four, we're way down here at negative three. Still, try to do the best you can. Definitely what's happening, like if you, if you imagine this as, as like a, a soft, pliable, whatever, a noodle, whatever, this is getting stretched, right? So, the curve is definitely less curvy and it definitely takes a lot longer in order to approach those asymptotes, but you do wanna to try to show a little bit of a curve there, okay? I want you to think about what would happen. I think, yeah, for this one, I do a one half, I do a fraction. I want you to think about that. That's basically getting scrunched and it's gonna become a little bit more curvy and approach the asymptotes quicker, okay? All right, so yes, it's weird looking. I know, I realize that. And part of what you've got to just memorize is the fact that for the tangent graph, you're gonna do half of it to the left of the origin, half of it to the right of the origin, okay? For cotangent, we're still gonna have a period of pi, but we're actually gonna go, gonna be a similar look to the graph, but we're gonna, we're gonna show this so that we have a full cycle where we're between two asymptotes, right? So that's the other reason why we graph it this way here is because we want to show between the two asymptotes. If I had shown you this, this part, just, this, just that part right there, then we'd have this other part going down and you wouldn't really see the connection of here's what this curve looks like. Okay? All right, cotangent. For cotangent graphs, so this is part of what you just have to memorize. For cotangent graphs, we are truly just gonna go from the origin. So here's our zero, our period is pi. So that means this is pi over two, this is pi over four, this is three pi over four. Okay, so our cotangent graph still a period of pi but we're kind of in a different location on the on the coordinate axis our asymptotes are at zero and at pi um no, 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 no. Which, because these would be x equals, and you've, you're gonna, you're gonna be labeling your x-axis markers anyway, so they're kind of labeled more or less. So you don't have to put a specific x equals pi or whatever, because you've got it labeled along there. So I'm fine with that. Okay, pi over two is our midpoint, so that's where it's zero for cotangent. If you want to look up here, look at your unit circle at pi over four, if you think about what the value would be for cotangent at pi over four, it's x over y. So at pi over four, we're at one. And I don't want to confuse you guys. I put the zero there for your x's, but I also need a one here. Okay, so at pi over four, the cotangent value is one. 
So that means there at three pi over four. So if you go into quadrant two and look at three pi over four, you find that the value is negative one. So this curve goes in the opposite direction as the positive tangent curve. So they go in opposite directions. So some people like to think of the cotangent curve as it looks like the negative tangent curve, but it's in a different place on the coordinate axis. Right. Our quiz is, is it our quiz or our test? Quiz. Uh, it's in a row. No, it's not on the map. Oh, that's what I thought it was you said. No. It's open, no. So you have your notes with you. That's why I'm telling you to make sure you get everything written out. So you have this to refer to when you're taking your quiz. Right? Okay. So that's a positive cotangent. For negative cotangent, you can kind of think about where we're going with this one. So pi over four, okay, we've got zero, pi over four, pi over two, three pi over four, and pi. Okay, we wanna draw in our asymptotes. And pi over 2, we know, is our center, so that's going to be 0. If it's a negative cotangent, though, the direction is going to switch. So at 3 pi over 4, we're at positive 1. At pi over 4, we're at negative 1. And then let's look at the one-half cotangent because I want you to visually see like the three, the amplitude change here, the three tangent really stretched out that graph. It's less curvy. I want you to realize that with, the, with a fraction between zero and one, it's going to make it more curvy, okay? A little bit. Okay, so we're still at zero, pi over four, pi over two, 3 pi over 4 and pi. Um, asymptote. Asymptote at pi over 2, we're at 0. So now at pi over 4, instead of being at 1, we're at a half. God bless you. And at 3 pi over 4, we're at negative half. And so visually, I mentioned this already, but visually what's happening there is you can almost think of the graph as almost kind of being scrunched together. It's tighter, and so the, it's more curvy and it approaches the, the graph tends to approach the asymptotes quicker. Okay? All right. So I, I think you kind of seeing this now, you realize what I was saying about this is kind of one of those things you just want to memorize. You might not have it memorized by quiz time now. That's why you've got the open notes. But test next week on all of this graphing. God bless you. Test next week on all of this graphing. You're going to need to have that remembered. Memorized, right? Hang in there. All right, let me, let me shut this down.